We are no longer afraid of Muslim Muslim ticket. Christian leader says, Who is this Christian leader? You've not seen anything. Hmm. Look at the way things are going. Okay. How is Muslim Muslim ticket uh, bringing food to your table? Or how is it helping you? Why are you no longer afraid of Muslim Muslim ticket? This is just the beginning. We don't know what is going to come upon Nigerians after now. Okay. But who is this Christian leader in the first place? I feel that they're no longer um, afraid of the Muslim Muslim uh, ticket. Does it mean that it is uh, everything is okay now with with the Christian body, with the church, or how? Or has government of Tinubu now produced uh, uh, a different policy for Christians to cushion the effect of Muslim Muslim ticket? We don't know. Or are you sure this is not a purchased bishop again as usual? Or hired bishop? <laughs> because this government is good in hiring bishops. So let's dive into the details and see what this man of God has to say. Why we are no longer afraid of Muslim Muslim church, Christian leader says. Okay. A Christian leader has said that President Bola Metinubu has allayed fears about Muslim Muslim ticket. Um of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, with the way he has balanced appointment he has made since he was sworn into office. Can you imagine? Okay, so he's talking from the point that uh, Tinubu has defied Muslim Muslim ticket in his appointment because he has appointed a lot of Christians have been. <coughs> okay. And we also see, I think there was a time um, somebody in the north was shouting. Um, Okay, it was a Yoruba Muslim was shouting that they're not seeing the benefit of Muslim Muslim ticket. Yeah. So let's continue. Record that some Christians and their leaders across the country had campaigned against the emergence of Tinubu and Kashim Shetima, both Muslims as the presidential candidate and vice presidential candidate of APC uh, ahead of the 2023 presidential election. They alleged that the Muslim Muslim ticket was part of the plot to Islamize the country. However, APC won the presidential election despite the campaign, but it was believed that the party could have won with a bigger margin if the religious fact factor had not been played up. However, um, speaking at the National Ecumenical Center on Friday, Professor Baturi, the national president of Catholic Charismatic Renewal of Nigeria, said that by ensuring a balance in the appointment of both Christians and Muslims into political offices, Tinubu has disappointed many who thought that a Muslim Muslim ticket would set the country on a path of chaos. Hmm. Baturi, who spoke during the inauguration of committees and flag off of the national orientation and mobilization for a day of praise, worship, and thanksgiving to God for Nigeria, slated for December across the country, added that Tinubu should be commended for the way he has balanced his appointment so far. Now, one of the things that created the tension during the last electioneering period was the fact that many Christians in Nigeria were so scared of the idea of a Muslim Muslim ticket. It brought a lot of fear, but as God will have it, that fear has been removed from us. The president and his vice president demonstrated nothing but balance in the kind of political appointment that they have made. We have seen that nobody can cry of marginalization because Muslims have gotten their fair share and Christians have also gotten their theirs too. So it is one of the reasons why we must thank God because some people thought a Muslim Muslim ticket would Islamize Nigeria. But to reset. Hmm. Okay, oh, so I wish sure the issue we have in Nigeria, apart from religious, is corruption in the politics. That is it. Now, the why people are like being silent about Muslim Muslim ticket now is because of this Emilokon syndrome, the Yoruba uh, ethnocentric nature of appointment, and also the um, okay, and also the certificate saga and forgery issue on Tinubu's neck. All of those stories have actually outweighed outweighed the Muslim Muslim ticket till now. In fact, right now, if nobody 
people are distracted for the Muslim Muslim ticket issue because now we are now under Tinubu. We have not got more problem in at our hands than Muslim Muslim ticket concerns. At the time Tinubu was coming in, Muslim Muslim tickets was the largest concern, especially with the way Buhari led Nigeria. Okay, but after Tinubu assumed office, we have had we now we have more problem, more concerns that are more serious than Muslim Muslim ticket to our hand. And that is why it looks like people are more are now distracted for the Muslim Muslim ticket issue and now focusing on more ish, bigger issues giving Nigeria both local and international embarrassment, which one of them is the contest around the winning of presidency and second of them is the Tinubu uh, uh, forgery and criminal issue in the United States. Okay, now the third of them is the ethnocentric and nepotistic nature of appointment that's favoring not just the whole Yoruba, but the group that worked with Inubu while he was the state uh, governor. And people have come out to cry out on that. Okay, so let's see. There are a few comments here. Somebody said, We told Nigeria that Tinubu is not religious by God. A story. Tinubu is a patriot, a unifier par excellence. Okay, oh. so if you don't know what to say, why not speak Yoruba? Deceitful people. <laughs> uh, Tinubu's own is, from what we have seen, is not a religious person. But the key thing here, the corruption around his neck, the forgery and criminality around his neck, is what is causing problem in his government. Not even a religious issue right now. As I said, you are talking of Muslim Muslim ticket. Is it Muslim Muslim that judge the case in the court on behalf of Tinubu favor? Hmm. Tinubu is not like Bari, who is a religious and ethnic by God. No, Tinubu is an ethnic by God. He may not be a religious by God, but ethnically he is. That is the truth. Because he has proven the hatred for the egos and he has also proven his uh, affiliation for Yoruba or affinity for Yoruba, even in his appointment. And people are already complaining. That is it. So, will they accept Christian, Christian ticket? Do not be brainwashed. Exactly. So, assuming the time uh, this election was handling, coming, that somebody had fielded, or Peter B had fielded the Christian Christian ticket, if Atiku had fielded, uh, PDP fielded the Christian Christian ticket, would they have accepted it? They would have, they would have been bloodshed in Nigeria. So, now Christians are very, very tolerant. That is the truth. And somebody, somebody is saying, balanced to what? Eh? You are not longer, you are no longer crying because the scale is treated towards your side it doesn't really matter okay okay if at the end of the day we get the best so much you can't be afraid you mean more than 90 percent of the political apartment is the south is the southwest okay have been given to you hypocrites uh, okay that's what they're saying there <laughs> it's not an easy one so thank you for listening and let's have a comment